so yeah, uh, Gabby and I got charged by two dogs. You know, this actually happens more than I'd like it to. And I know that if you're watching this, that it's probably has happened to you or is going to happen to you. So let me first share with you what actually happened first. So I'm actually on vacation this week. I've decided that I'm going to take uh, more weeks of vacation to just be a little bit more creative. And so now that I'm coming off this vacation, I'm really ready to get back and to see all my clients. Anyway, so I'm on vacation and one of the things that I decided to do during my vacation was to get some pictures of Gabby in a field of blue bonnets. So anyway, got the information about a really fantastic field that's just about an hour outside of Houston and decided to head that way to take some pictures with her. So we show up at this field and I've got to tell you what, the field of blue bonnets was absolutely beautiful. Just really beautiful field. So we get out of the car, I find a nice place to take Gabby to go potty. Nope, not on the blue bonnets. But then as I'm looking out across the field, you know, there's some people there, there's some dogs there. I'm like, okay, let's just be smart about this. Let's keep our distance from the other dogs. I did have Gabby on a leash, even though I knew I really didn't need to. So we get onto the field and I'm about 20 to 30 yards away from some folks with their, with their dogs. And then yes, two of those dogs decide to make a big line and to charge Gabby and I. Look, you know, there's a lot of different ways that you could handle this. You could yell at the dogs, you could just wait for them to get to, to get to you and see if you can push them off. But there's no really easy solution for this. So luckily for us, even though these dogs were charging us, they weren't aggressive. They weren't looking for a fight, but they were looking for some very rough play with Gabby. Luckily, Gabby's temperament held up that she did not get too terribly upset. Uh, she didn't want to play with them, but she didn't get too terribly upset. But the owners came running after them, a million apologies coming out of their mouths as they drugged their dogs away. So, you know, at that point, okay, you know, Gabby's a little frazzled. Maybe I'm a little frazzled too. Not too much, but a little bit. And so we do the smart thing and we move maybe 30 or 40 yards away from where these dogs that have chased Gabby were. So then I just get Gabby set up to start taking pictures and here they come again. And yes, same owners, the dogs are charging right at us and you know, like what are you gonna do in this situation? So this time what I decided to do is I took Gabby's leash off because I knew I had enough voice control over her. And then at that point, okay, I was ready to use the leash in any way that I needed to to really separate a true dog fight. Luckily, the dogs, because I read that they weren't aggressive, I was able to put my hands on collars and begin to pull the dogs away as the owners finally caught up and began to drag their dogs away as they, as they had their, you know, all their apologies. It did actually turn out well for us because then after that, I was actually able to get Gabby to settle and we just got some terrific pictures of her in the field of blue bonnets. But now I'm just going to think about this, like, you know, what could I have done differently? I could have walked a little bit further. When those dogs were charging at us, I could have yelled very aggressively and charged the dogs myself. And yes, even though I don't like to say this, I could have been a little bit more violent with those dogs to get them to go away. Luckily, they weren't really fighting dogs, but were they, then I think it becomes my responsibility to protect Gabby from these dogs doing these things to her, okay? What else could I have done? Well, I don't know what else I could have really done in the situation being, you know, being, you know, chased down by these dogs or really having these dogs charge Gabby and I. The great thing that I did do is I have a trained dog. I have a dog with a great temperament. I have a dog that will stay where I tell her to. She walks nicely with me. She comes when I call her. She, play, she has a great play relationship with me. And so I really think that that's what ended up saving the day that my dog had all of this training, was able to do that. So this is a now to what could those people have done differently? So, you know, if you're gonna show up to a field, you know, to take pictures and your dogs aren't reliable on the recall, then you probably shouldn't be there. You should probably be spending your time actually training your dog and working on that. Now look, if you want to go out there with your dog 
and you know that the that the recalls aren't the best have a long line and yes it's going to be a little bit more work on the photos to maybe photoshop that out but show your training progress with the dog and you know but don't put other people don't put other people and their dogs who actually are trained and actually are listening at risk because your own dog is not trained now look i, I know that's a really hard thing to say but it's just the reality. We all want to enjoy our dogs. We want to enjoy these beautiful fields with flowers and take pictures and do stuff like that. But, you know, if your dog isn't trained, it's your responsibility to make sure that that happens. There's plenty of resources out here, myself included, giving away, you know, training videos and helping people to understand that. But look, that's my rant. So have you been charged by a dog before? What did you do in that situation? How do you handle that? And look, if you haven't been charged by a dog yet, be prepared, have an extra leash, maybe, you know, have something else to defend yourself. I hate advocating for that type of stuff, but you know, what are you gonna do if your dog's life is at risk because some other dogs just won't back off? So you gotta be prepared to handle that. Okay guys, well that's it. Hey, thanks for watching and have a great day. Take care.